a bit rusty on the old sticks, mate, driving. <laughs> Are we going now? Yeah, we're going. Straight in. Straight in. All right. Jesus, going off road. Yeah, off road. I'm going to hold on as tight as I can. Hold on. You're not scared, are you? I'm really scared. I don't like being a passenger. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. Smooth as ever. Yeah. Seen you got all the gear with you, mate. Oh, it's a So when I knew you were playing, I came as prepared as I could be. Yeah? Like, You've well, heard about my top level skills at goal? I have. I have. Uh, anything over 100, whatever the highest handicap is, that's being that's kind to me. Thought we'd have a few warm up shots. Plus, I've heard golf's your sort of sport and I've... I've not really played before. Oh, come on. I just have all of these. That's um, not what I want to hear, mate, because you're meant to be coaching me. Oh, okay. This is what this is oh, about. Is this what, oh, I read yeah. the brief. No, I read the brief. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the plan is a little bit of coaching. Okay. Yeah. See what level you can get me to. You know, you're now the team leader at McLaren this year, mate. You've got a young rookie teammate to Have look you got your golf shoes with you? Golf shoes? No. These are suitable, aren't they? Go on. They're white. They're fine, they're fine. Oh, no! What are you moaning about now, mate? I've got black socks on. <laughs> Not colour coordinated. No, it's an embarrassment to golf. <laughs> I, I'm so, I swear. See, I'm learning new things all the time here. Because everything about golf, mate, it's about etiquette. Etiquette. It's about etiquette and it's about class and history. Do you ooze class on a golf course then? Is that what you're trying to get at? Oh, not when I've got an orange glove on my hand, mate. <laughs> it's on brand. I know, I'll just say it's McLaren Tobin today. <laughs> <laughs> right, Lando, off season's now finished, but mm -hmm. heard you're a keen golfer, so thought we'd start the season in style. Yes. You could show me. Best interview ever. Best interview ever on the golf course. Uh -huh. I knew you loved golf, and I've heard that it was Carlos that got you into golf it in was. the first place. Yeah. So now you're like the team leader at McLaren, is it going to be like Oscar's initiation? You're going to get him on the golf course with you? I'll try, Oscar, yeah. I mean, I remember being in Oscar's position and uh, for the first little bit of time, you just want to focus on driving. Just There's the a lot driving. Of things, just the driving, but um, with time, with time. I remember when I was, I remember my first race. <laughs> and, you can uh, say that now And it's confidence. the same for him, exactly. So uh, with time, I'm sure I'll try to get him on the golf course. Talking about golf, what's your handicap? What's your payoff? Do you want to let the, the viewers know where you're at? It's not good enough. Like I should be, I should be better than I am, considering. And what everyone thinks is what really annoys me, right? Because I talk a lot about golf. People think I'm really good at golf. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, that's what I thought. I'm not. You're not. Nah. Well, let's see. Come on. You get some clubs I'm out. Straight in. Yeah, straight in. This is a one-to-one -one lesson. So you're a man with. Let me put my orange glove on. Yeah. Always on brand. Team. Exactly. Yeah, let's get the clubs out and, uh, you know, you're a man what club have you got with limited time. I've picked up a seven iron, but I don't know what I'm doing, Lando, so you can tell me if you think that's a good call. These aren't my clubs. I know you brought, you know... Got my range like... finder out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the gear. I'm not prepared or anything, you know. Normally, I'd say all the gear, no idea, but I know I'm probably going to be worse than you, so... 109 yards. 109. Playing 107 because it's downhill. Oh, look at you. You've got all the knowledge. So... <laughs> Just to warm up, though, this is like, we're not worried about the hole yet. That comes at the end. Yeah? Oh, so okay, a bit of okay. a challenge. Once this is just the swing, up, huh? You know, got me to a decent level. So just to warm up, what would you normally go for in the bag? What's the first club out? First club, normally you go with a wedge. Normally a wedge. If you want to warm up. Okay. Because you kind of warm up. A little delicate You want to warm up one. with tempo, you know? Okay. You don't want to go straight into who can go hit it further. Well, there's that first ball, mate. You're up. Come on. <laughs> I've not warmed Ladies up. Ladies first. Yeah, this is your warm-up. You just whoa, said whoa. that's what you warm up with. I saw you practicing earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to know that. I'm not feeling good, to be honest with you. It's pretty silent now. Isn't it? Oh my God. That's a worldie, no? Oh my God. That looked like it was going in for a second. Is it in? Nah. It's long, You're literally huh? bang in line with the flag, though. Yeah, thanks. I'm good. Thanks for having me. I think I'm your good luck charm, to be honest. Just off the rip. Look at that. You need to be with me in every uh, <laughs> every game. Well, how often do you actually end up playing golf? Because, you know, you're on the road a lot with Formula One. Yeah? You're always... It's a busy yes. calendar. Yeah. Take your clubs every race with you? Um, I mean, I, I play golf in the times that I can, yeah. you know, and I play it to help me get away from F1. Do you find um, it helps? I do find it helps. Yeah, like it's, break. it's very different, a very different speed of sport. 
Um, but mentally it's kind of similar because you mess up one corner or one shot and it's like how can you make it up in the next shot yeah you know and it's about forgetting it in, in a way and then focusing on that next time and um for me that's a good thing it kind of keeps me in that mentality but i can just stop thinking of racing for a little time and for a day a couple of days whatever it is so uh, i love it it's just something i really enjoy yeah um but it is you know everyone's obviously priority it but does it's just feel do it. standing there right now it feels like a million miles different to formula one no nah, it's basically the same come on <laughs> it's basically the same all come right on, come on all right okay give me a chance what do you got seven iron I've, I've, this is what i'd normally pick out my bag okay i'm new two months into golf land, only two like, two months like all right at i remember my uh <laughs> so this is really good test for you to you know your teamwork skills you know you've got a young teammate oscar yes. you know mclaren yeah look after you've got to bring him. him on bring him up to speed i that's mean i don't you know I well you don't enough, but, but you know that's what i'm hoping you're going to do with me here <laughs> oh he's on the floor look at that it's, it's rolling, rolling all the... go on <laughs> that sand green. who put that sand there i love them because that's just rolled you nailed it onto the green could have been better. Yeah, i think you might be closer than me oh come on not um, bad for a first you actually shot. are right the swing's quite nice swing's nice the swing's okay. quite nice the only All bit right. you struggle i think a little bit with is the follow through so when you come back about the follow through it's all about the follow through <laughs> so when you come back actually it's pretty nice yeah um the main thing is you just want to keep your head still yeah and keep your eyes on like kind of pick a point on the ball or eyes just the behind ball. the ball and uh, and just keep looking at that the whole time I think I get a little bit, I'm impatient. I get a little bit carried away. I'm yeah. looking like where the ball's Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll get on there. I'll look it. after it. I'll follow it when okay. it goes up and into the hole. All right. Let me see you hit another one. You know, just to make sure that first one wasn't a fluke. <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> right, I'm going to change. This is, going to probably, this is going to go too short now, but. Listen, we're here for a good time. Come up and swing through. You just want to let, kind of let the club come behind you if you can. This is a real masterclass. I'm liking it. <sighs> I'll charge you after. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> so that's what I use as a lesson for what not to do. You've just created an absolute crater there, by the way. <laughs> If I stand in that, I'm going to be wobbling all over the place. No, I was just showing you what not to do. So just don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And now you'll figure out, like, I like to teach people what not to do. So then they know what to do. Yeah. You know? Is that what you're going to do with Oscar? How's that going to work in a car situation? I'll just tell him that it is what I'm yeah. always doing. <laughs> okay. What about, let's talk a little bit about F1. I know, obviously, golf, you know. It's a sport that you're really into, and yeah. like you say, it's good with a balance for your Formula One. It's interesting that you said about how it resets you each shot, each different corner, because I know yeah. what you mean. Sometimes behind the wheel, you make a mistake. The next corner, you're thinking about that mistake you've just made. Exactly. So it's interesting to hear about that stuff. But what about you in general? See, so five years into Formula One now, mate. It's gone you know? fast. Yeah. I, I don't feel like it was that long ago I just signed to, to drive in F1. That you're a rookie. And now it's my fifth season already. So. No, it's been pretty amazing. I think I've, I've loved every minute. There's obviously been tough times and uh, extremely memorable times. Um, but I think it's been like a good little story so far. I feel like we're still on a journey uh, as a team with McLaren. Yeah. And we're still yet to achieve what we want to achieve. But it's coming. I still have faith, you know, I still have faith that uh, we can get to where we want to be. So. I mean, you've ticked a lot of boxes in Formula 1 already. Pole position, podiums, uh, obviously yes. that win, that win that's you're not quite at it yet, but you've been close on many occasions, close. obviously. We close. don't have to talk too much about Russia and that moment, because that was, that was a wicked race yeah. from your side in general. What about this year, you know, the, the car, the new yep. teammate, you know, the yep. new team boss. Obviously, Andreas has now moved on. Yep. That the whole team looks a little bit different now. How, how do you fancy your chances for that win this year? Uh, it's a tough one. Um, I think we still know where we realistically stand and honestly stand. Uh, so to, to come out and say, yeah, we're going to fight for wins, I'm not confident enough to, to say that. Um, I think we still have a longer term goal, which is 24, 25. Um, you know, and we, we're honest, we, we know Red Bull is the target at the minute, or Mercedes, or Ferrari. Um, to achieve what they're achieving, everything has to be perfect. Yeah. So until that time comes, 
uh, you know, we need a new wind tunnel, we need the new simulator. Um, and until that time comes, it's about maximizing everything else we can do as a team. Um, and I feel like we're doing that at the minute. Uh, it's just a little bit of patience. And that is still to, to be this year, but through the year, we need to start to see some steps forward for, you know, for my side, from the whole team. And, um, and that's what we're working on. So okay. progress. We well, said a little bit of patience the there. I'm going to try and do this on the next shot, you know, head down, focus on the ball, just uh -huh. like you said, mate, just like you said. Cool. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. A little practice swing for you. Everything looking all right? That was nice. That was yeah? nice. Okay. I like it. I like it. Good. Ooh. Four. <laughs> hey, at least it went in the air. It went in the air. We're making progress. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. You know? Yeah. It took me like, what, four years of golf to achieve what I just achieved. <laughs> <laughs> you're Everyone hits a bad one. shot. Everyone hits a bad shot. Even Tiger Woods, people like Even that. Even Tiger. They hit I bad saw him shots. chip it the other day and he went like three feet. You saw him chip it? Yeah, I mean, I watched. I watched ah, I thought you said you were out on the, I thought you were going to say you were yeah, out on the course with Tiger, in which I've case been I was going to teaching gonna, him a few oh, yeah. things. That's why oh. he hit <laughs> a bad shot. You've been teaching him all he knows. Right, I'm going to get rid of this 7 iron. What yeah. should I pick up? What's the club to have out the bag? Move this Look, along. I think you want to go with like a nine. I'll be going backwards, are we? I'll go backwards. It's harder to hit a lower club. Because I just instantly go for the big clubs in the back. You want to take out the driver? Yeah, you just want to whip <laughs> the driver out. We're on a part of three. I don't feel like a driver is the most sensible Listen, choice. Listen, you've not seen me hit a driver. Really? I don't hit it that far. <laughs> I mean, if you're confident no, with the driver, no, it's there. No, no, nine, nine, that's, we're all good. Look, I think it just, you know, it'll get the ball even higher. It make me feel like I've hit a proper golf shot, will it? Exactly. That's what we want, huh? Yeah. Oh, beauty. I'm dancing again, mate. Yeah, I can tell you've done this before. Not, not as much earth this time. <laughs> not as much earth this time. More greens. You're looking like before. a man high on confidence at the minute. No. No, that's no, a good I'm way to bounce back. I've got faith in my teammate here. Your teammate. We're teammates and now. You. The plan was for you to teach me and then we're going to have a little 1v1 at the end of this. Oh, okay, so, okay. You know, All right, focus. Just keep, Shh, keep that focus. in mind, you know. Don't make me too good. <laughs> All right, what can we focus on now? Um, let's focus on club a little bit more like this. Yeah. And when you swing, you don't want to try to hit the ball with the end of the club. Don't want to. You don't want to try and hit the ball. Uh -huh. You want the whole club to move into the ball. So like when you swing down, you don't want the end to try and, you don't want to try and like hit it with it. the end of the club. You kind of want to keep this shape and almost keep your hands in front of where the club is. Exactly. So you kind of come up and naturally you'll be a little bit like that. Yeah. And then you just kind of want to, to rotate your body, and keep your hands in the same position. All right. You don't want to like swing your hands. You don't. want to be in position yeah. and rotate through it. I just want to rip it all the time. Yes. It doesn't, it doesn't I mean, work. So do I. It doesn't work. I need to tell myself sometimes. <laughs> right. Nice and gentle. Hands in front of the ball Hands on the way down. the ball on the way down. I should have practiced more before you turned up. Look, mate. <laughs> look, mate. I remember being just as bad as you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You've given me so much confidence. Yeah, and look where I am now, you know, I'm on the so dance floor. If I see Oscar struggling in the first few races, knowing he's got a teammate like you, I'll just go, I don't know what, what's going on. I'm there, there for moral support. Yeah, even moral support. You can do it, Billy. Thank you, that's what I want to do here. I still feel like I've fluked these first two shots. Okay, time's a charm. No, I'm in the bunker. You in the bunker? I think you are. Wind. Did you feel it? You feel that? Knee blew me over, that did. What about the rest of your off-season, mate? <laughs> Obviously, you know, I can tell you play golf a lot because you're pretty good at it. What else did you get up to over the winter? Like, what do you do to a um, little holiday? I mean, I went else? to see my, my family, went yeah. to my parents, my brother, my sister, uh, my brother's little kid. Yeah. Uh, Mila, she's adorable. Uh, yeah, my sisters, the whole, the whole family. So it was nice that we all kind of saw each other so again. You're Uncle Lando now. I am Uncle Lando. How does that feel? Weird. Uh, I find that more weird than being the older guy in the team. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it was it's nice. It's always nice to have some family time. I, I mean, my parents try to come to some races, but my mom looks after my sisters a lot of the time. Uh, so my dad comes to quite a few races. But uh, yeah, a mixture of being with my friends, um, enjoying some time away, uh, and then before you know it, it's kind of back to training. Does it feel like you've had a proper off season or does it feel like it's just come around like it, that? Yeah. Considering the first race is like, you know, we're at the first race. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm still in Abu Dhabi, like, oh, I'm really looking forward to a nice <laughs> few months off and, and we're already here. So uh, it's gone, it's gone, it has flown past. But um, I did a lot of things that I really love to spend time with my friends. I went to Finland, I did like some ice rallying, ice driving. I saw um, that you were hanging out quite a lot with uh, Martin Garrix and you got yourself on a little set of DJ nah, decks, nah. haven't you? No, I mean, I did. Yeah? My, sadly, what... my DJ career has come to an end. Already? Yes. What? Um, I can see you with a set of big sunglasses on in the club, giving it large, buying the DJ decks. No, nah, just, just priorities, just... Uh, <laughs> Decisions the lifestyle to, that comes yeah, with it's, it. You know, I, um, yeah, it, I, I love it. Like, I think what was cool about it all is I just got to meet some cool people and some different people. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm sticking to what I'm good at uh, <laughs> and prioritizing what I got to prioritize. So yeah, it's, it's things. I've been trying a lot of different things. I just kind of got to that period of my life where I like to explore and do some different things. But um, I'm just coming back around and sticking to driving F1. So your main hobby is golf, aside from... My main hobby is golf. Formula 1. Um, and Formula 1. There's so many athletes do golf in their off time. Yeah. And it's because it's such a obvious, easy thing. But it's so complicated at the same time. Yeah. Every shot's different. Because when you hit this one perfect one, it goes like where you won. That's pretty good. You're like, damn. <laughs> do you well, try and hit another one and everything that. goes wrong, so... Um, Lando, I just wanted to ask you, obviously you've been in Formula 1, like I say, you're coming into your fifth year now. Yeah. Don't let me put you off the shot, but pressure. Sorry. Sorry mate, I did put you off. You did, huh? Pressure. Every time you talk, I end up in the bunker. Being the lead driver, in theory, you know, you've had teammates as a couple of Carlos and Daniel that, you know, a bit more experienced in the world of Formula 1 that have been around for longer. Now you've got a rookie yep. teammate and, like, it's not just about, you know, leading the team in terms of being the older driver and more experienced driver, you've got to you know, develop the car in the right direction. I'm yes. guessing you're going to have more of a say in that side of things now this year. A, a little bit. Um, I feel like I was already in a good place from a lot of this last year. Yeah. Um, you know, being that change of drivers, there's always, like as soon as that happens, there's already a, a little bit of a shift towards it's going to be the car that I'm driving next year. Um, so you always have a little bit. It's not like the car is made for me in any way. Like no. people will get quite easily confused and led down that path. The car's made for this person or that person. Um, and at times I wish the car was made a little bit for, more for me. And I still have to sometimes arrive and I'm like, you know, it doesn't do anything that I want. Uh, and as a driver, it's your job to adapt to it, you know, and drive any car that you basically get given. Yeah. Uh, that's our job as a racing driver. So you have a bit of that, but that will step up a little bit more this year. My responsibility within the team, you know, I'm the guy with the experience of Formula One, working with McLaren, working with all the people that we work with. So that's where it comes into play. Um, but Oscar's going to be able to bring a lot of new things that I can't. You know, he's worked with Alpine, he's worked with different teams, uh, and I've only worked with um, the orange ones. So, um, yeah, there'll, there'll be a lot of different things, but I think we can work very well together. So, is that a good kind of pressure? Is that something that you actually I would looking say so. forward to? Um, I think there's always pressure. Like even yeah. last year, uh, and some people might not say it, but every qualifying, like I always felt the pressure of, I don't want to lose. You know, that's what motivates me every time. Is I, I hate losing yeah. in anything, even today. Yeah. Um, and and, and I'm always going to have that, that pressure, no matter who it is and what session it is. You know, anything. But um, there's always a bit more that last little bit of hunger from someone who's new in the team and, and that person who's coming into Formula One. Uh, and I was the same, I was that person, you know, what, four years ago, five years ago now. So um, I know what it feels like, but at the same time, it just makes me push that, that little, little bit harder um, and find that last little bit, that will be fine. I'm talking about Oscar, have you raced Oscar before? Because I raced him back in the Formula 4 haven't. days. So, you know. He's, what, a year and a bit younger than me? Yeah. So I wouldn't say I'm much older, but uh, uh, I haven't. I have not, I've, I've seen him race and I know like the year after I left in karting, from Ricky Flynn, then he was in Ricky Flynn, and I kind of I've always looked back at the previous categories, 
Every time I've seen up. him sort of progress. So I've seen what he's around. capable of, you know, and he's... I mean, he won Formula 3 and Formula 2, so that's... He's pretty know, much won everything pedigree. he's done. He's won so, a lot, um, hasn't he? He's achieved a lot. I have a lot of respect for that. Yeah. Um, and therefore, a lot of respect for him. Uh, so, yeah, I don't feel like he's going to need many lessons or much, <laughs> much help from me, but, of course, we're a team, and, and that's why I'm, I'm also there, too. Cool. All right. You're up. Come on. Come on. Pressure's building. Every shot, I feel like, you know, if I get one more tip. Aim, you, aim a little bit more left. Aim, you know, because the last couple have gone right. <laughs> I, I, Perfect. So I'm I would say now, yeah. so you might feel like you're aiming massively left, right? Yeah. I would say you're just left of the flag. Just left of the flag. Yeah, it feels like I'm like aiming yeah. a mile left. I, was, uh, yeah. I still do the same now. Front of the ball. It's the one. Oh! Oh, big bounce. Oh, I'm, I'm in the bunker there. I think you're in the bunker. I think you're, you're digging sand, mate. You're building sand castles. Yeah. Let's make our way down there, I guess. Let's go. Let's go, go. I'm actually quite happy with my glove. They call me Ricky Fowler. That's like the old racing gloves I used to wear like back in the 50s <laughs> and 60s, mate. <laughs> A little leather on them. Yeah, they're nice. So what... Is there, is there anything on this, by the way? I didn't... What? Guys, sorry, we're it. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it right behind us. I'm actually pretty close on that middle one. There's a few good ones in there. Are we good to go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know whose pulls those are, but amateurs. Yeah, they're not ours. Definitely not ours. You've got a good couple up there, though, mate. Oh, there's one close, huh? Yeah, that weren't the one that... Where it mattered though, mate. That was you on the far right, didn't you? Oh, the one just next to the hole. I'm pretty sure that was the last one I hit. <laughs> Listen, I've got a bunker shot here. Look at that. Oh. oh, you're not in the bunker? No, I think I am. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a, there's a few. There's a couple. Uh, which, do you know which one was exactly your last one? Wait, whichever one's the better lie. That's going to be mine. Anyway, look how close I am. So, do you want to hit this one? I'm feeling a bunker shot. Okay. All right, well, you know I what know to do. I know the theory behind it. Opening it behind and it's sort of... Boom. Like, so and you up. just start out, uh, out back here? I'll walk, walk, into, walk into the shot. bunker. <laughs> walk into the bunker. You look look at me. Nice and close up there. Bit I jealous I've got, like a, I've got like a four foot putt. Four foot? Wow. I've seen, you know, the pros get these in sometimes. Yeah, just a bit of backspin, get it high. Just get it out of the bunker will be a start. <laughs> I'll get it out. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. Go on, you got this. Right. You know what to do, right? Mm. Open up the club face. Yeah. Right. Come on then, Bill. Come on, Bill. Oh! Go on, go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. I'm that. Tell me hey, that is not an absolute worldie of a shot. <laughs> that's, Mando, a, that's a gimme. You didn't, you didn't give me any lesson for that shot, mate. I'm blaming your lessons. You put me off up there. You distracted me, mate. <laughs> what is this? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm never going to hit a golf shot like that in my life ever again. That's really annoyed me. <laughs> <laughs> you got pressure on this putt now all of a sudden. I do, I do. This is for the win. Look at me. It landed here. A bit of backspin. A bit of backspin. I'm, I can give you that. You know what a gimme is? You're going to give it to me? Yeah. But do you want to put it? Because it's on camera. I'll let you go first, because then I'll know if I want to take a gimme or not. Do you, did anyone bring a tea at all? A tea? There's loads. Anyone see my McLaren pass and look at this, Ellen? Yeah. Let's get this on camera. On Shout out to Taylor Maid. One of one. This is a one of one uh, McLaren Ellen spec putter. Listen, just because you've got your name on the putter doesn't mean it's going to go in. <laughs> You know, you've got pressure on that now, mate. I've just pulled the best shot of my life. Wait, just don't Out. get this on camera. Where can I, up. Lando, where can I stand that's the most off-putting place to stand? Probably put the shadow, like, right over my ball. If I stand, like, right by the flag here. No, that's, I don't mind that. Yeah. You get down. You're aiming for me, mate. All right, a little right to left. All of a sudden, this friendly hole has changed quite a lot, you know? Mm. Now, I've never seen you in that sort of position before in my life. Oh. <laughs> I'm in that position all the time. <laughs> what have you done to the flag, mate? It's on. Right. In... Ready to take the flag out? That's... You want to take is the flag that, out? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's gone. Go I feel on. like I've, I've read this completely wrong. Oh. 
Big pressure. Are you ready for it, mate? I'm ready. Ah! So is that, what's this? Is this, we both put these there. The wind blew out of the way again. The wind, I don't know. It's no, because I'm putting it, right? I'll yeah. get out of your way. So now I've got a putt to tie with putt you. It. Oh, look, so oh, that gimme that you, I no, got a I, minute ago. Look, you didn't accept the gimme. Yeah, I didn't accept the gimme. So I'm going to stand right here like this. Oh, you're going to, all oh, right, okay. You are a little bit competitive, aren't you, mate? And I, I just I'm not going to lie, so am I, so I really want to putt this. <laughs> so, okay. and that, is that annoying? No, mate, I think, do you know what? Actually, with that shadow, it makes it easier. Yeah, do you want like a line? Look, I'll give you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah just line there it you up go. Look, I'm me. here to help you, to be honest, mate. Right. Just follow the shadow. I mean, you putted with some commitment. <laughs> <laughs> that nearly went straight over the back You some confidence on that one. Well, fair right. play, mate. Lando, been a pleasure, mate. Good luck for the season, you know. Thank you so much. Drawing with me round a golf or a hole of golf, it's not the worst way. I mean, that was one of the Good. best bunker shots I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I could do that again. I think Tiger yeah. would be proud of you. It was all that Tiger talk earlier, mate. It's beautiful, that was. Well played, well played. All right. Thanks Good for the hole. game. Good luck for the season. Thank you. Hopefully it all goes well. I hope so. I have confidence. Take care. Cheers, man. Thank you.